I want you to listen to this. A Phoenix man is headed to jail for running a church on his residential property. But the homeowner insists his worship services are private. Marie Saavedra is outside that home in Phoenix with details. Marie? Right, Patty, the man who lives here says this is his private property, so the decisions about how and where he worships on this property should also be private. But after losing several court battles on this issue, his next step in this fight is likely jail. Okay, yeah, he did fight the court, several court battles, and, uh, well, of course, the court and the, uh, the court and, and the imbecile judge and the imbecile prosecutor are, uh, of course, they're not saved. Of course, they don't live for the, for the Messiah. Uh, they live for Satan. Uh, and you can, you know, anybody that hears this on YouTube can, by gosh, tell them I said that because it's the facts. Okay? Uh, I'm exercising the freedom of speech that Yahweh and Yeshua gave me, not the First Amendment. Okay? So they can take a hike, as far as I'm concerned, uh, straight to hell. But uh, anyway, listen up. Hello, my name is Michael Salmon. And I'm Suzanne Salmon. And if you are watching this video, um, I'm either already in jail or going to jail. Michael Salmon says he is a man prosecuted because of where he chooses to worship. But the city says he's a man falsely representing buildings on his property, running them like churches without the proper permits. Oh, now we have it. Wait, wait. The guy's building that he built or had built, he does, he has not paid and bowed and worshipped at the feet of that government in Arizona and licked their boots and paid the tax to be able to have friends over to read the Bible. Now we see clearly what is going on here because we're critical logical thinkers now we see now we see just as the word has told us that in the last days perilous times will come that this wicked government of america would put a boot on your throat even if you wanted to study the bible see been trying to tell y'all for four or five years now it was coming here it is and it'll only ratchet up from here but what they're going to do is they're going to break down the wrong door one of these days and uh, they're going to find more than a Bible. Inside this back building is a pulpit and chairs, room for the 30 to 40 who gather here weekly. But he says this is no public church. If people can gather for a Super Bowl party, uh, Thanksgiving, Christmas, poker night every week, Wait now, this this gentleman is talking exactly right. That if people can gather for poker parties, orgy parties, uh, Super Bowl parties, all these parties they can do, they can get together at their home and do whatever they want to do. But don't you dare invite somebody over to study the Word and show yourself approved under the Creator. Don't you do that. You see, this is the hypocrisy of your local and national government. That's why I told you the other day that the Constitution does not give you freedom. If you study it and break it down, it was meant to bring about slavery. Because, ladies and gentlemen, listen to me clearly. They do not care about the 501c3 churches. They're not making an effect against the kingdom of Satan. They're just going there and sitting there on Sunday. But this guy has broken ranks. Listen to me. This guy has broken ranks from the government accepted churches. And he's decided that he's going to take another look at the book. Because he's not satisfied what the pulpit parasites are saying. And they don't like it. The government don't like it at all. We have the right to gather here every week. The city and neighbors disagree. Inspectors say for what he was doing, he needed dozens of building and safety updates. Oh, oh, the city and neighbors disagree. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we've got one of those little hand you over people. This talked about in Matthew. They will hand you over to the magistrates. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Here we see a prime example of it. They just don't like it. They don't agree. They don't agree at all. See, ladies and gentlemen, this is this. In one sense, I pray for the man and his wife, and for the people that were studying. On the other hand, it is literally 
it is literally almost laughable to see the mentality of the neighbors and, and this idiot prosecutor and the judge. It, it's almost laughable because because it, 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 literally the pages of the book that I hold dearly are jumping, they're jumping off and, and not only are there paper and, and, and black ink and words and sentences and chapters and books, but they are reality. It's right in the face of people. Right in the face of people. All Salman says he was doing was practicing freedom of religion. The court disagreed. I was found guilty for violating... See, the court disagreed. See, you hear all these you hear all these people talking about separation of church and state. Okay, watch. I don't believe in in a church as far as a building. I believe in the ecclesia of the body of people. Okay, uh, you got all these people talking about some separation of church and state. Separation of church and state. Well, well, let's have it. See, they want to have their cake and eat it too. Okay, they want you to shut your mouth, sit down, and go home. They don't want anything to do with the Ten Commandments in any any public place or government building. Okay, they don't want that. Okay. They, don't, they want you to shut up, sit down, and be a nice little crisis Christian and follow the 501c3 parasite straight to hell where the judge and the prosecutors across this nation will go lest they repent. 67 violations. Salmon appealed and lost. His sentence is 60 days in jail and three years probation, which he's due to start serving any day. He still maintains his worship space is private, and it should be treated that way. You're taking a man out of society and sticking him in jail for worshiping on his at his home. Taking a man out of society and putting him in jail for worshiping at his home. Absolutely. And I'm gonna tell you something, this is just the very shadow and 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 beginning of things to come. People have to make a decision. What will they do? What will they do? What will they do when the evil jack booted thugs come? And by the way, they say they're just doing their job. Well, some of us have a job to do too, and that's help hold righteousness and have a righteous indignation against uh, evil. Now, late this afternoon, we heard back from the prosecutor's office who tell me the way they see it, this is not a religious freedom issue. What this comes down to is this man's refusal to comply to some issues that they say are, they have to comply with the law. We're talking about... Bingo! What this is, is this man's refusal to pay, to buy his paper, to pay his taxes, to get his stamps, to get his permits, and pay the devil his due. That's what it comes down to. And the man refused to do it, and I pray for him, and I pray that you would pray for him and his wife. Uh, building code safety features all necessary for him to be doing what they say he is doing on this property. Live tonight. For him to be doing what they say he is doing. He and he can't do what he wants to do on his in, in, on his own land and in his own building. He's got to do what they say to do, or he goes to jail. Hey, how do you still like your good old USA now? Hmm. Trying to tell you, I'm trying to tell you. End time watchman. Pray for these people. Pray for the the husband and the wife. I've turned to Jeremiah, and, and, and Yahweh told Jeremiah, don't pray for the judge, don't pray for the prosecutor. Because he won't hear you. Because they're wicked and they're evil. They're wicked and they're evil. And you know what? You might be standing for a judge and a prosecutor pretty soon. But it might not be this wicked, stupid idiot in Arizona. It might be Yeshua HaMashiach, the righteous judge. And the prosecutor Yahweh. So you better think about it. Have a good day.